Okay, uh, hello Guitar 11 and 12 class, Mr. Edwards here. We're going to be looking at the intro to Bistro Fada today. So the intro is only chords, there's no melody line for the intro. And it contains four chords. It contains our E minor chord, which is like this. So that's going to be our open low E string our second fret on our A and D strings, and then open for the rest for our G, B, and E. So it sounds like this. So this should be reviewed for most of us. And then we have what's called E minor slash G. And this might be new for some of you. Um, it says E minor slash G, what we usually call that um, when we're referring to those chords that have slashes are slash chords. And instead of saying E minor slash G, we'll say E minor over G because it's an E minor chord uh, on top, so over, uh, the note G, which is going to be, which is going to be third fret on our low E string. So that E minor over G is going to sound like this. And then our third chord is F sharp minor seven flat five. And this is one that's likely new to most of you. And this is definitely a jazz chord. So the variation of F sharp minor seven flat five that we have here. And we'll use uh, our second finger on the low E string to play the second fret. And then we will, and then we will put our third finger on the D string on the second fret. And then we'll put our fourth finger on the second fret on the G string. So we get this. And while the chord symbol above says F sharp minor seven flat five, it's technically what we'd call an F sharp minor 11, but we'll delve into that later. You can play a couple different, um, what we call voicings over uh, a minor seven flat five chord. So again, we have this, and that's our third chord. And then our fourth chord is going to be B7. And uh, this may be new for some of you, or it may be review for some of you. And what our B7 looks like is second finger on the A string on the second fret, first finger on the D string on the first fret, third finger on the G string on the second fret, and then we play the B string open. And then we put our fourth finger here on the second fret of the high E string. So we get this sound. So I'm going to play just the chords for the first four bars of the intro here in the style that it is written in the tap. So that's if we're just playing the chord symbols that are above the tab. Now, if we're playing exactly what's in the tab, it's going to be like this. And then we would go into the melody at A. And so the last time we play F sharp minor seven flat five, it's a little bit different. Uh, so in the tab, we have both this uh, voicing that we already learned here, which is uh, second fret on the E, D, and G string, and then open on the B. 
This time we're going to put our first finger down on the B string. For the third beat of that bar. And so that is a true F sharp minor 7 flat 5 chord. So when we play it like this, then that's what we call F sharp minor 7 flat 5. So uh, to wrap it up, I will play you uh, the intro in its tab form here that's written. Okay? And then into the melody at A there. Okay, uh, please uh, work on this intro, the chords, and making sure you can um, you can move through them fluidly.